We can trust in him and the work of his hands For his justice and mercy is on every land And by the might of his decree All the heavens came to be By the hand of his mercy The command of a father's great mercy And he will never let mercy go away Praise the Lord, yes, praise the Lord, oh, praise the Lord in many voices. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord in many tongues. Praise the Lord, yes, praise the Lord, oh, praise the Lord in many voices. Praise the Lord in many voices. Praise the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. As we prepare our hearts to celebrate this Eucharist, let us contemplate our sins, but most of all, let us contemplate the profound mercy and compassion of our God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us bow our heads in prayer. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may always, we may please you, by our resolve and our deeds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. The prophet Elijah arose like a fire, his word flaming like a torch. It was he who brought famine on them and who decimated them in his zeal. By the word of the Lord, he shut up the heavens. He also three times brought down fire. His how glorious you were in your miracles, Elijah. Has any one reason to boast as you have? Rousing a corpse from death, from shoal by the word of the Most High, dragging kings down to destruction and high dignitaries from their beds, hearing reproof on Sinai and decrease of punishment on Horeb, anointing the kings as avengers, and prophets to succeed you, taking up in the world wind of fire in a chariot with fury horses, designated in the prophecies of doom to allay God's wrath before the fury breaks, to turn the hearts of fathers towards their children, and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Happy shall they be who see you and those who have fallen asleep in love for we too will have life. Elijah was shrouded in the whirlwind, and Elisha was filled with his spirit. Throughout his life, no ruler could shake him, and no one could subdue, subduce him. No task was too hard for him, and even in death, his body prophesied. In his lifetime, he performed wonders, and in death, his works were marvelous. The word of the Lord. Rejoice you just in the Lord. 
The Lord is king, let earth rejoice. The many coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his remnant, his throne, justice and right. A fire prepared for his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth tremble at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all people see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods, all you spirits worship him. Your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Hallelujah. 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 Beloved, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, in your prayers do not babble as the pagans do, for they think that by using many words they will make their, themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. So you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be held holy. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive those who are in debt to us. And do not put us to the test, but save us from the evil one. Yes, even if, even you, if you forgive others their failings, your heavenly Father will forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive your failings either the gospel, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise Beloved in Christ, I want you to recall a significant relationship in your life. Perhaps your relationship with your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, a friend or relative. And as you recall that relationship, you will notice that at the beginning of that relationship, it is filled with frequent and active communication. It is filled with babbling, lots of messaging, lots of communication, lots of talking. And I suppose the reason for this frequent and active communication, I suppose the, the reason for this babbling that goes on at the initial stages of these relationships is because you want to impress the person. You want to get to know the person. But as the relationship develops, you notice that the babbling decreases. Communication via words become less. And if that relationship survives and, and reaches to maturity, you will find that your relationship with that person goes beyond words. Words become secondary and the presence with that person is primary. 
I suppose the metaphor that comes to my mind, beloved in Christ, is, is that if you think of a river, you notice that the river begins, for example, um, in the mountain region, and at, at the first stage of the river, it's active, it's bubbling, it's, there's lots of movement. But by the time the river gets to the coast, there's stillness, there is calm. And that's how happens in a mature relationship. And why am I saying this, beloved in Christ? Because prayer fundamentally is a relationship with God in Jesus Christ. And our relationship with God in Jesus Christ develops like that of a river. It develops like any other relationship where at the beginning of this relationship, there is usually lots of activity and babbling. But as your relationship with God becomes more and more intimate, becomes deepened, that intimacy is reflected in Jesus saying to his disciples, when you pray, you do not need to babble. You do not need lots of words in this relationship. And so Jesus says to his disciples, when you pray, this is how you are to call God Abba, Father, that, that signifies intimacy. And in this Abba, Father relationship, Jesus says, you honor that person. You honor that person by saying, hallowed be thy name. In this relationship, the heart of the relationship is not your will, it's not your agenda, it's not what you want, but at the heart of this intimate relationship is God's will. So even though many times you and I, we want to carry out our will, our agenda, our desire in this relationship, in this intimate relationship at the heart of it is God's will. A part of this intimate relationship as seen in the Our Father is that the source of our existence, the source of our being is God's grace. And so what does Jesus say to his disciples? He says, give us this day our daily bread. Give us grace. And this daily bread is not it's not, the, it's not the material bread as Jesus reminds us, as reminded Satan, that man does not live by bread alone, but by? Amen. In this relationship, in this intimate relationship, there is a recognition and an acknowledgement that you and I have been unfaithful. That you and I, like St. Paul says to the Romans, we have fallen short of the glory of God. We have been sinful. And in this relationship, we ask for forgiveness. We ask for the many times that we have given into our, our weakness, our desires, our own will. And we also ask for, for mercy for others, that just as how God has shown us mercy, so we must show others mercy. So in this intimate relationship, we're asking God for the grace that just as how he has forgiven us, that we too may forgive others. And finally, in this intimate relationship, we ask for protection. We ask for deliverance. Deliver us from all that is evil. So beloved in Christ, the, the challenge that is given to us uh, today is that you and I have to invest in the growth of this intimate relationship. We must invest in our relationship with God so that as we invest our time, our talent, and our treasures in this relationship, this relationship may move from one that is filled with babbling but one that is filled with presence, intimacy. One where it feel that you and, you and God can sit in each other's presence even without talking. So beloved in Christ, let us invest. Let us invest in this relationship. That's the word today. Invest in our relationship with God 
so that that relationship becomes so intimate, so full, so nourishing, so, so fulfilling that we can be in God's presence even in silence knowing that he's still there with us. Amen. And so, beloved in Christ, let us stand and in this intimate relationship with God, we return to him, offering our petitions, even though that before we offer our petition, God knows what is in our mind and God knows what is in our hearts. We pray for our Holy Father Francis and all the bishops throughout the world, particularly the bishops of the Antilles Episcopal Conference, that as they carry out their ministry of pastoring, governing and teaching and sanctifying, they may invest in their own relationship with the Lord. Lord, hear us. And we pray for ourselves that as we celebrate this Eucharist, and experience the intimacy of God's presence in the form of bread and wine, that we may be nourished, we may be transformed, so as to become the body and be the body of Christ in the world, in our relationships with each other. Lord, hear us. And we pray for those who are weak, those who are vulnerable, those who are not strong enough to to follow God's will, those who continue to follow their own will and their own desires, that in their weakness they truly may experience the power of God's grace. Lord, hear us. And God our Father, we thank you for listening to our petitions. We ask that you receive them gratefully and grant them to us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Charity and love prevail. There God is ever found. Brought here together by Christ's love. By love are we thus found. With grateful joy and holy fear, God's charity we learn. Let us with heart and mind and soul Now love them in return Where charity and love prevail There God is ever found Brought here together by Christ's love By love As we our faults confess And let us love each other well In Christian holiness Where charity and love prevail There God is ever found Brought here together by Christ's love by love are we the May become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all in his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of our human nature nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant that the substance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, at the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, save us, us Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles Jason, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Again, just a reminder that you stand where you are. The ministers will come to you for communion. If you're not receiving communion, you can be seated. Sister, brother, at this time, you too are invited to receive Jesus. He says to you, come to me. I am the bread of life. Come to me, you who thirst, and I will satisfy. For whatever reason, you are unable to be present. To receive Jesus in a sacramental way. But at this time, is your opportunity to receive Christ spiritually. To be in communion, to be one with your Lord and Savior. And so come to him. Hear his invitation. And let us pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. And I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come to me. Come spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, O Divine Savior, O Jesus, O Blessed Sacrament. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. We often forfeit Oh, what needless pain we bear Oh, because we do not carry Everything to God in prayer Have we trials and temptations is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrow share? Knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are oh, we weak and heavy laden? Come, but with the load of care. Precious Savior, still our refuge. Take Despise or save Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and 
And to know that God's grace is sufficient for us, especially in our weakness, in our frailty, in our flaws. God's grace is there to lift us up, to support us. We find that grace in our intimate relationship with him. So do not be afraid, afraid of investing in your intimate relationship with the Lord. Do not fear turning to him, for in our weakness, it is he who will give us the strength. So be courage, be courageous, be not afraid of making yourself completely, figuratively naked before him in this intimacy, as he has done in the form of bread and wine in this Eucharist. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so make it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with and may the blessing of Almighty God go with you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the good news by your lives. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture burst on my side. Angels descending, bring from above, echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. Praising my Savior